Rolly. Yesterday, the government announced a new pension plan for government employees to be called UPS or Unified Pension Scheme. This was a rollback of the new pension scheme that the government introduced way back in Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee's tenure in 2004. Government employees who have joined service after 2004, they have been by default enrolled in the NPS. Uh, now, the reason why NPS was under attack from a lot of people is because NPS is a market-linked defined contribution pension system. So your pension depends on how your investments perform. Uh, the OPS, on the other hand, was a guaranteed pension linked to your final salary. Now, the UPS or Unified Pension System is a hybrid between the two, but it retains the most important parts of the OPS, which is that the pension is guaranteed at half of your final average salary. Um, apart from this, uh, the pension is also index inflation linked. So uh, it's linked to the consumer price index. And uh, all of this sets it apart massively from the NPS, which is still open to private sector employees and those government employees who don't want to go for the UPS. So what are the two big differences? We did a simple calculation. If you put 10,000 rupees a month, let's say that you have a salary of 1 lakh rupees and every month you invest 10,000 rupees in the NPS. After 30 years, uh, assuming that your investments earn a return of 10% CAGR and you increase them by 10% each year because your salary grows each year, um, you end up with uh, a pension corpus of around 6.4 crores. Uh, and if you convert that into a monthly pension uh, at a 6% annuity rate, so an annuity basically changes a corpus into a monthly pension, uh, at that calculation, you get around 18% of your uh, salary at the time of retirement. So your salary, by the way, rises from 1 lakh a month to about 17 lakhs a month to account for inflation over a 30-year period, 30 year period. And of that, your pension in the NPS under these assumptions comes to 18%, 1.8%. This is much lower than the 50% that government employees have been promised. Now, you can play around with these numbers. You can say that along with your 10% contribution, maybe your company also contributes another 10%. So 20%, how much then does your pension become? In that case, yes, the pension does go up substantially all the way to half of uh, your salary at the time of retirement. But the most important difference between a government employee's pension and a private sector pension is that a government employee's pension is inflation linked. Whereas the pension that you will get in the NPS at the time of your retirement, that is not inflation linked. And that makes a huge difference to your life security, your standard of living after retirement. The other thing that people in the NPS from the private sector are subject to is market risks, right? I'm assuming a 10% return, but in reality, the market might give you 8% or 7%. You don't know. Um, the other uh, uncertainty also is the annuity rate. That bit, that 6% that I use to convert your corpus into a monthly pension, that depends on the rate of interest prevailing at that point of time. So it may not be 6%, it might be 5 or 4, and then you'll end up with a much lower pension. This risk, These risks have been taken away for government employees in the UPS, why not for the private sector? It is downright unfair and uh, extremely unfortunate for private sector employees.